chapter started off with the reactions of the characters from Hana's death last chapter. So anyways, we got to see a lot of reactions of how she died and the fear and despair was completely wiped away from them, as I said. And uh, we got to see Ushimitsu's reaction. You know, he loves death for some reason. Um, we actually got to see some Lily action. He was like talking and called bullshit and Kamimaru. And, um, you know, this chapter kind of played out exactly how I expected it to be. There's a lot more setup because this is probably going to be the final game in the series. We'll probably get more after this, but this is most likely going to be the final game. We're down to, like, what, like, five characters? I, I can't remember the exact character count. But there's a, there's a, this is a definitely a good chapter. It was a, it was a good, solid chapter. I mean, it was definitely a lot of setup in it. And as they were passing around the cards, taking the cards from each other, uh, they were telling the, uh, each other what they're, what they're going to do. Um... And basically, a lot of the focus on this chapter had to do with Shun. And, um, you know, I really like chapters where it focuses on Shun, because Shun, personally, is my favorite character in this whole series, this series as a whole. And, uh, basically, um, I don't know, uh, he's talking about, like, how he's gonna live, and, but then he, but then he starts saying how he, that, that's how he will live, by dying with Kamimaru, because he, he, basically, Shun has lost a lot of things and he's just in it right now to kill Kamimaru. You know, that's his that's his goal, that's his dream. Just killing Kamimaru with any like any means or any means necessary. Like in anything to kill him. That's basically all he wants. And and we got to see romance between Akimoto and Shun because, you know, she is in love with him and she doesn't want him to die. So basically, um she's She's freaking out, right? Like, she's crying because she, she knows that Shun is going to do it. And, you know, I was expecting, personally, that she was going to scream at him or do whatever. I mean, she was she was thinking, like, uh, like and screaming at him and stuff in her mind. But I thought she was going to, like, call him out or something and, like, and he was going to change his mind. But then we get that final scene where she's just crying and it, and it says, Akimoto takes a card from Shun. And, and then, oh man, she took the, she took the card, and, uh, you know, she was like, keep, keep, uh, my heart pounding to the very end, so I'm like, alright, alright, so I guess she's accepting it, and then all we see on the very last image was, if this is taken, you die, so basically meaning, Shun took that card from Akimoto, so, I mean, basically, she's gonna die next chapter, because it, the, it's the card, if this is taken from you, then you die. And Shun took that because she uh, gave it to him. He didn't know what it was. And I don't know, man. I, I really want to see how this plays out. I mean, I'm 90% I'm sure that she's going to die. And my predictions are that once she dies, Shun's going to have the new resolution to live on for her. Because she did say, keep my heart beating until the end. Or keep my heart pounding to the very end. So that's my personal opinions on this chapter and theories, but um, yeah, that final scene, that final image was just amazing, and I really can't wait for next week's chapter. It's gonna be pretty, pretty great. But uh, anyways, uh, I'll see you guys later uh, for the next review. Bye.